no oil alkaline vegan brownies. I've made brownies, uh, vegan alkaline vegan brownies a million times. I have like three or four videos already on my channel. Those recipes are fantastic, I must say, but this one is with no oil. So let's see if it's as good. I'm just gonna use one half cup of hemp seeds. These are already shelled or hulled. Three cups water. First, I'm gonna just put half of the water. I'll show you what I do basically. But first step is, and I have my half cup already in there. For spring water. I don't wanna fill it too full cause it'll shoot over the side. So I'll put one and a half cups in there and then I'll add it to more after. So I'm just gonna put one juicy date. This doesn't have a pit in it already. So just a pinch of salt, sea salt is best. And I think the Celtic gray sea salt is the stuff with the least amount of plastic particles in it. Unless you like drinking plastic particles, A few moments later. All right, that should be good. Now I have a smaller one of these that would fit right over there, but it's too fine. But this one is a little bit wider. So this is the one I want to use. Um, if you, you know, the more stuff you want to filter out, the tighter of a mesh that you want to use, obviously. Another two cups of it in there. And I'm going to try to filter some of this off the side. You see this stuff right here? I'm gonna use this, what I like to call nut waste, as a, an ingredient. Stay tuned to make some awesome brownies. Oh great, it's flying everywhere. Oh, it's everywhere. Oh, it's everywhere. This is not working. I'm not tired. All right, well, as if you weren't here seeing it, it got all over the place. But I still maintained this stuff that I'm gonna use. That's good. Now this is three cups of hemp milk and it needs refrigerated. It'll go bad pretty quick. So you wanna use it definitely within a week. Then it'll probably go quickly anyway. But don't just don't leave it in your fridge. It doesn't stay very long. I'm running low on date syrup and I'm making brownies. So I'm gonna try using fresh dates instead. Locked and loaded. One fourth cup water, spring water. Water is part of the recipe anyway. I'm, at, I'm gonna just add it now to this so that I can blend these up. Three quarters of a cup of these. All right, let's wash these off. That stuff in there is the hemp seed leftover. I didn't measure it, but it was the leftover from the half a cup of hemp seed. I'm gonna make sure I get this off. This ended up being a little bit less than a cup. It's a mixture of water, dates, and maple syrup. Oh, it looks like a lot now that it's coming out. Yeah, okay, good. Okay. Right. This is my secret mushroom blend fourth of a cup of that. A fourth of a cup and then two more tablespoons. So does that make sense? Six tablespoons. If you have vanilla bean, and yes, it's hybrid. So this one is a special one that I got that doesn't have alcohol in it. Two teaspoons. And you don't have to use this, but it will taste different. This is for a 13 by nine. Now I'm using only about an eighth of a teaspoon. This is a fourth teaspoon, I only filled it halfway, of sea moss powder. If you don't have any, you can use sea salt. A half teaspoon would be fine, but this stuff is too strong if you put that much in it. If it's fresh, then, it's, then it would be fine, but the sea moss powder is very salty. Already looking pretty chocolatey, isn't it? Now I'm gonna add some flour 
Just one cup of spelt flour. If you don't want to use oil and you don't have hemp seeds, you can use an avocado. But the avocados I have aren't ripe yet. All right, I'm using a quarter of a cup agave nectar, not agave syrup. Oh, it definitely looks like cake batter. I'm gonna use an entire fourth cup of maple syrup. Wow, that looks great. I'm gonna add a couple tablespoons of water. A fourth cup of water total. All right, that's good. If I put too much water, it'll never be done cooking. I'm gonna put a small handful, this is maybe like one big tablespoon of chopped walnuts. Okay, another small tablespoon, or this might be two spoons full a small half handful of dry cherries. Now these have nothing added to them. They're not sweetened or anything. Then I just usually fold these in by hand, ready to go into the pan. Uh, 375 Fahrenheit. All right, now to wait. Here it is. It's usually shiny on top from, I guess, from the oil. Oh man, I've been filming all day. This might be the last video of the day. <laughs> I'm going to test the no oil alkaline vegan brownies to make sure. I've made brownies, uh, vegan, alkaline vegan brownies, a million times. I have like three, vi or maybe three or four videos already on my channel. Those recipes are fantastic, I must say. But this one is with no oil. So let's see if it's as good or uh, how good it ends up being. Ooh, and there's some fresh strawberries too. I'm gonna have this with them. Oh, there's hemp milk too, actually. Hmm, might pour some of that hemp milk I made. Is that a good shot? Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. It's marshmallowy. Oh yeah? Again. It was like that last time. It's like a chocolate marshmallow. Like, what were those things called? Mallow cup? In a weird way, it reminds me of that. I've only had that a couple times and a long time ago, but it's really interesting that it tastes like marshmallow to me. What do you think? Is Doesn't it kind of taste like marshmallow? It's chewy. It's chewy and the flavor is marshmallowy. Wow. Mm. Alkaline Chef approved. They're chewy and a little bit gummy, but they're not really fudgy. They're more marshmallowy though. With the oil, it was a little different. But I think this worked out. I haven't gotten any wal or any walnuts or cherries in any bite yet, though. Mmm. Pretty good. Let me know if you would eat these in the comments. Are you also on a diet to not eat any oil? Or trying to lose weight or something? Give me some feedback in the comments. I'd appreciate it. Ooh, we've got a video coming out, if it's not out yet, of no oil alkaline vegan cookies. And they're not just any cookies. I'm not gonna give it away, but they're not just plain cookies. See ya in the next video. Peace. Check out that char. Can you see that? Yeah. いただきます。